Um, what's your opinion in speaking in tongues? Is it still necessary? And what does the Bible say or what the purpose of speaking in tongues is? Okay, when you say still necessary, what do you mean by that? Like, should we still use it or is it that still have... Is it necessary for salvation or is it necessary to let other people know that... Yeah. Let, let other people know the gospel, which... The second one. The second one. Uh, I'm not charismatic myself, but I think these gifts or these incidents can still occur. Uh, I've read a, a book that was put together by Craig Keener. It's actually a hernia-inducing hernia two-volume set called Miracles, where Craig has looked at modern-day miracles all over the world, and he says there are instances where people have the ability to speak in another language that they don't know to tell somebody the gospel. This is the kind of tongues that are throughout the book of Acts. Okay, Some will try and say there's a prayer language, say in the book of 1 Corinthians, that isn't a, a tongue, uh, another language, another foreign language. But in the book of Acts, it seems to me that all the examples of tongues are actually somebody who doesn't know the language speaking it so the other person can hear the gospel. So can that occur today? Of course, if God wants it to occur, it can occur. I don't think, though, people have the gift of tongues today or the gift of miracles. What's the difference? The apostles had the gift of miracles where they could heal people on command. They appeared later to run out of that. Paul says, hey, pray for so-and-so. He's sick. Or I got the thorn in my side. Or, or Timothy, take a little wine for your stomach. Well, Paul, if you still have the ability to heal, why don't you just heal all these people? It appears that there was a period of time he had that ability. And then after he was authenticated as an apostle, he no longer needed it. That's the gift of miracles. The fact of miracles, that miracles can occur when God wants to do them either individually or through people, God can do a miracle anytime he wants. He doesn't need me or anybody else. Uh, so I think the fact of miracles occurs, but not necessarily the gift anymore.